This question or comment comes to us from Mark Hughes, and we're talking about pressure in the ground with your feet, and we've talked about the spike in your shoes. And so if I'm, gonna, if I'm holding this shoe up, this is my right foot. There's four spikes back here in the back of the heel. This inside spike right here on the inside of my right heel, not the back spike, but that one, that's the key relative to your backswing. So when I go back, I put pressure into that spike. So my right leg pushes my right hip back and pressure goes into that spike. And when I change directions, that spike is pushed into the ground even harder and it feels like you twist that spike down and into the ground. Now that's on the full swing with your trail side or my right side. Mark's question is, when he's hitting short shots, so you're hitting little pitch shots or 50, 60 yard shots where predominantly your weight's on your left foot, okay, so where's force when you're hitting those shots? Okay, so now we're going to go left foot, so we're going to go the spikes again. So when you're standing primarily on your left foot, when you start out, the force is in the middle of your foot. So I'm standing here on the middle of my foot. I make a backswing, it stays pretty much in the middle of my foot. As I start down and I'm going through the ball, my force goes back to the outside spike of my left heel, this very back one. So as I'm going through the ball, when I make a swing and I hit a little pitch shot, as I'm going through the ball, as the club runs into the ball, this leg has pushed this hip back to where my force has moved back to this outside left heel, that spike right there to the point where it's starting to lift my big toe, it's starting to lift my front, that toe off the ground, just a little bit. Now, once I hit the ball and the club goes around here, what a lot of players do is their right foot will just push them up a little bit and their weight goes from their heel back to the center of their foot. So they look on balance. And then there are other players who hit it and as they go through, their left foot actually twists a little bit. So, on the downswing and the backswing, we're dealing with this spike right here. That's, that's the key spot. Weight starts in the middle of your foot, it moves to this spike, it pushes that spike into the ground and twists it. On the follow-through side, you're dealing more with the center of your foot, a little of the ball of your foot, but as you go through the ball, weight goes to this spike back here, which is on the outside of your left heel. And that's kind of where this foot then feels like it starts to pivot. You'll see a lot of guys swing and this foot twists in the ground. A lot of them, this foot actually comes off the ground, but they're, they're right on that spike and then this foot, this toe will lift. So that toe lifts, so it's sitting on the ground. They hit that and it lifts their toe and their foot twists a little bit. And a lot of the reason that they go to this heel and their toe comes up and they let it twist, that takes all the pressure off your knee. If this foot stays planted in the ground like that, and this doesn't move, and you go to the ball of your foot and you stay there and you twist on top of that, push your hip out of the way, there's a lot of torque that goes into your knee. And so that, that's potential knee injury. So that's why you're seeing more and more players now with their lead foot, their lead foot starting to move more. Watch Jack Nicholas's. His, his foot used to start here. He'd go back, he'd turn it in, he'd get into the ball, and then he'd twist his foot out. All, look at the old players. Look at how much their feet need, used to move. And then they came into this, let's be really stable. Well, the problem with that being really stable is you got right here, you're on the ball of your foot trying to stabilize this foot, and you're torquing, that would force your hips out, plus it put a lot of torque in your knee. So now you'll watch the long drive guys. They go up and they come down, and as they go through the ball, this foot jumps, and they, a lot of times this foot jumps right out of the way. You know, but they're, they're, they're doing this and their weight's going to that heel. So it's those two spikes. It's the inside, this one. If you're making full swings, it's this spike right here that's critical. When you're hitting little pitch shots, you're right on the center of your left foot. And then as you come into the ball, as you're going into the ball, your force moves right back to this cleat right here through the ball. Now, as you go through, you can stay on that cleat or then you can stand up a little bit and go back into the middle of your foot. And like I say, there's, there's all kinds of ways to, to make your finish look good. And a lot of us got confused with what looked good and how they were actually getting there. So that was a very good question. And 
what cleats you're using and what force, where you're putting pressure in your feet is a big part about how to play this game. 